Here's how to test your checkout uh, page on your Shopify without spending any real money for it. And I will show you exactly how to do so using the bogus payment method. Uh, now, I just want to welcome you all and I hope that this video is going to help you. And let's actually jump into it. So it's actually very, very simple. Uh, there are two different ways dependent on your certain scenario and i will show you for both uh ways how to actually do it one i will show you exactly how to do it with the screen and the other one i just uh will let you know what you need to do exactly step by step so let's actually get started the first thing you will need to do is actually go ahead and go to your shopify dashboard here from your from your shopify dashboard you will need to go ahead and click on settings and then from settings, you will need to go ahead and click on payments. From the payments, here is going to be how uh, things can be different for you. If you have set up a payment provider already, you should find a button that says manage. And if not, you can just find a choose a provider here. Now, this is going to be a different process for both, and I will show you exactly how to do so for both. But first, let's actually start with the one that I have in front of my face right now, and then I will talk about how to do it if you have the manage option, okay? So if you have choose a provider, you will just simply go ahead and click choose a provider. And just wait for it, and then you should find, you know, the multiple providers here, but what we want is going to be the bogus gateway. If you don't find it, you can just search for it over here. Just type in bogus, B-O-G-U-S. And you should find it right here. It says uh, bogus gateway for testing. So you just click on it. And then you go ahead and enable it over here, obviously. And uh, we can just go ahead and click activate. And we should be good to go. After you're done with it, if you want to just deactivate it or change provider, you can go ahead and come back to this page right here or you can just select it and go ahead and do it uh, but right now we have already activated the bogus and we should be able to test the checkout page without paying any money uh, without simply just without paying any money within our store so this is the first way uh, if you have this screen right here but if you have the manage button, this is exactly what you will need to do. I can't really show you because I don't have uh, one that does have that. But I will tell you exactly what to do with this notepad here. So you will need to go ahead and click on the manage button that you should find. And then you will need to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page, like exactly at the bottom of the page, where you should first add your phone number if you don't have one. Or if you didn't add one already, you will need to add it. You, you, you won't be using it. It's just a necessary thing that uh, you need to put in in order to go through and enable the rest of the stuff. So after you add your phone number, you will need to uh, find at the bottom of the page a, a checkbox that says test mode. So you will need to, you know, check the box that says test mode. Uh, this is basically just going to allow you to um, deactivate the payments uh, for your Shopify store for testing purposes. So you can obviously go ahead and enable Bogus and actually test it without actually paying real money. Now, without this, if you end up uh, trying to, you know, test the checkout page, you will end up paying money. And we don't want that. We just want to test. So again, just enable test mode by checking the box. Afterwards, you should just go ahead and save, click on save on the page. And after you click on save, right on top of the save button, you should find a new option that just pops up and it says switch to a third party provider. Uh, this is just going to allow you to go ahead and select bogus. So once you click on switch to a third party provider, it's going to ask you again, are you sure you want to switch? You just click switch to a third party provider. Uh, after you do so, you just go ahead and you should find the same page I showed you in here. It is going to be exactly the same or you should find yourself in a page like this. If you don't find it, you just go ahead and type in bogus uh, and just choose bogus. Okay, 
Obviously, I don't find bogus here because I already I already have it activated, but you should find it, okay? So once you select bogus, it's going to uh, ask you to deactivate Shopify payments at the bottom, and you need to do so. Otherwise, again, you will need you need to pay money to uh, for checkout, but we don't want to, so we will need to deactivate Shopify payments for the time being, just so we can test out the checkout. Uh, with bogus and then we can you know again reactivate the Shopify payments so uh, it's going to ask you for a reason you can just select other and then just you know let them know you are just doing all of this for testing so it's just going to give you a few reasons just select other and go for testing uh, and then you just you have it pretty much activated the bogus um, uh, gateway basically and now the gateway that you have on is going to be bogus okay bogus just allows us to test things out it's going to allow us uh, to see how things go if a checkout page goes through or the payment goes through it allows us to see if a payment does not go through and also it shows us uh, if a payment is um, an error occurs so it does have three options here to show us. So if we just go ahead and go to our online store. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you exactly how to uh, like how it's going to look like, because, you know, this is just uh, an example a site that does not have uh, purchasing enabled, basically. But you just go ahead, go to your product and then uh, go to buy it now to your checkout page. And it should show up and you should see the rest from there. What I can do, though, uh, is I will show you exactly how it looks like from the uh, theme editor. This should allow me to show you pretty much what you can do with it. So uh, again, just go ahead, go to your products and then just click on it until you, you go to your checkout page. So if I go just to my checkout page from here, I should show you what it looks like. So here you can just, you know, test things out. You can just enter your um, uh, information here, which should uh, be matching. And then here is going to give us the payment uh, option, which is going to be the bogus one. Now, here is going to be how things are a little bit different. To test things out and see the pay now and how it looks like afterwards, after you're done, basically uh, bogus like I said, allows us to uh, see uh, the outcome of three things. For the card number, you have the option to put the number one, the number two, and the number three. So each one has a different scenario. If you put the number one in the card number, uh, basically this is going to test out how things will look like if the payment is successful. Okay, so this is number one. And for number two, it's going to show us how things will look like if the payment is unsuccessful. So if you want to see how that looks like, you just put in number two under card number. And then lastly, number three, if you want to see how it looks like if a error occurs. Okay, so those are the three options. So let's just say we want to test out number one. Again, this is the editor page, so I can't really test it out for in front of you, but I'll just let you know uh, the rest of the steps. So after you fill out this inf information, you put the card number one, two, or three. Expiration date, any uh, date in the future works. So let's just do uh, 25th, I don't know. And then security code, any three numbers work. So one, 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 zero, 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 two, two, zero, whatever three number combination you can just put on there, you can do it. And you can just click pay now and you will see exactly uh, what you asked for. So again, number one, successful payments. Number two, uh, unsuccessful. And number three, error occurs. So this is pretty much how to test out your checkout page without paying any money. Uh, and then lastly, obviously, you just go to your settings payments and reactivate your uh, regular providers in order to actually, you know, get things up and running again. So this is basically how to test things out in your Shopify payments. Uh, and I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching.